You can't help but compare yourself against the old timers. The great sailors who left legends of their deeds on the waves and steel through the hearts of their enemies. Of course, my captain and I made us our fair share of enemies along the way, I reckon. And greed pushed us down some dark paths. Fortune and glory were there for the brave and the foolish alike. But nothing ever comes for free. And we knew we would have to take what work we could find in the taverns. And grab the big scores when we could. The stability of the Empire, Britonia, and the rest was under constant threat of war from all sides. All we could see was the opportunities that presented us. And all the while, we never saw death coming. Welcome everyone, this is Shadow Coast with Shadow Coast Gaming, and we are playing Man of War Corsair, a Warhammer naval battle. We are going to play through um, Shadow Coast, Nurgle, Slanesh, Independent. So we're going to play as an independent for now. And let's see. We will pick this character. Um, we'll play the tutorial here so everyone can see and we can familiarize with ourselves with the um, controls and, and how the game plays. In full transparency, I did play for, call it 10-15 uh, minutes uh, to learn a little bit about the game just to make sure that I understood some pieces as we talk through and play through. So we are playing Man of War. We're going to put it on hard. The life of the old world is not easy for most, and such was the case for you. Born in poverty in the port town of Arnau, you learned at a young age that economic opportunities are rare for those without means. You are a new captain with very little gold, but at least the lack of coin is something familiar to you. Life on the oceans will be difficult and dangerous, but you already know this. The wheel in your hand, your destiny awaits. Damaged ships, ship areas will be restored to a minimal of 10% health upon docking for free. So we have to pay for 90% of the repairs. So we are starting off with a revenge and let's see. I kind of like, I like this wreath looking thing. So we are getting started. We are playing through the tutorial and we will play the campaign. Now if you're interested in seeing more Man of War, please post and let me know. I am playing several games. I like to do full playthroughs, but I do prioritize games based off interest uh, as well as my personal interest. But this game is good. It does have some flaws. And here we go. Ah, green skins are ready. Now, the Empire seems like... Alright, so we use the control to look around. We use this to steer. G. And then shift. Oh, look at that. Oh, so, okay. We're adjusting the length. I did this a little bit for a few minutes. Ah, not quite. Look at that. They are shooting at us, so we want to... Alright, I think it kind of highlights when we think we're going to be able to hit them. And we're turning. Uh, hopefully that hits. The controls are fairly simplistic, but I think this game has more to offer. And I believe there is a non-ship component which we will be playing. Alright, I'm having some... There we go. But I keep missing. It looks like we sunk them. Right click to cancel. Alright. Oh, snap. What just happened? Oh, now we are... Okay, yep. Yeah, I did play through this already, but yeah. 
So this is the part where we actually can um, shoot. And I think our, okay, changing weapons. Now, I'm not very good at this part of the game, or I'm not very good at any part of the game for that matter, but the uh, controls do seem to be a little sluggish, and I do think I am much better at, ooh, maybe not, whoa, that guy's like right on top of me. Let's get out of here and blow his head off. There we go. I don't know if headshots are a thing. Like we headshot that guy, but oh, yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. Ah, now movement is not very helpful here. I'm trying to switch. So we can parry and repost, parry and repost, parry and repost. And it looks like we can actually join or board their ship. Alright, we'll take a longer range view on this guy. He looks scary. Don't kill my crew! Get the heck out of here! I don't know if friendly fire is a thing. Oh, what the heck just happened? Ah, we are now in their ship. What is this? We are. Alright, it looks like we boarded and just blew that giant ship up. Need to finish off the rest of the fleet. Alright, so... Oh, let's see, let's see... We missed that. Alright, let's reload. And one more hit should do it. If we can get a full salvo. Did we get him yet? Reloading. Fame increased. Alright, there's that one other one. I'm not sure if we actually hit them on that round. So the controls are very simplistic. You kind of have to line stuff up. I am curious to see. I do think there is some customization from um, what I've seen. At least read in a few reviews. We should be able to swap out weapons, and I think they're different types of ships. So we'll be exploring that if people are interested. Alright. We are turning, turning, turning. Yeah, that guy's cheering there in the bottom right corner. That's hilarious. And let's finish him off once we get great. We did it while the sport with this while the sport of the Empire will know we all have a safe har har harbor with them. Best sailing speed. Ship speed. Alright, the bottom right it looks like where's port? So right now we're in the red, then we're in the green, we can see that we have 
And when the wind's changing on us a little bit. We have full wind and that's cool. The sails do bellow. Bring the ship into dock. When we do we'll have... Alright, let's go visit the governor. She's a fickle mistress, but I love her just the same! Let us dock and go visit the governor. So we are playing through the tutorial here. Um, depending on time, we will potentially play a little more. Baron Anum von Nurath. Excellent work on those orcs, Captain Shadow Coast. As a thank you, take this gold, and if you should ever need further employment, pay me a visit. I may be able to help you in your endeavors. I've also instructed the shipwright to mend any damage to your vessel. 7,000 gold coin crowns. I will take that. So we're running around here. I'm assuming we want to talk to the guy with the exclamation point over his head. Which is not that guy, but instead, person over here. Tip, additional crew members can be hired while docked to port to recruit a skilled rifleman, visit the local tavern, click recruit crew, and find a sharpshooter. Alright, that was applicable. Hire. Better make sure we got a full crew too. There'll be no shortage of evil hands in port looking for work. So we're going to hire that dude. Alright, we can't click on any of this stuff. So, now I reckon we need some goods if we're going to get trading. So, ah, over here. How nice. Let's get trading. Norden is known for getting big harvests of fish from the Drosel Pool Bay. Last I heard we could sell it at a good price in Erengard. So, we're going to buy ten. Abdelad stowed it in the hold. The revenge will... Revenger will be ready to set sail on your word, Captain. Alright, and we can't really buy anything else. Now, this is good to know. I'm kind of wondering if we need to remember any of this. So, let's just do a few things here. Um, we can sell for 333. 62, 199, 167. So, okay. Um, we'll try to remember some of those numbers. I don't know if they'll become relevant later. Used to play the game on my, uh, the, is it the Drug Lord game on your graphing calculator back in the day? You have to memorize where to buy and sell stuff. Scroll around with the movement keys or drag with the mouse to zoom in and out. Let's zoom out. Holy smokes, that is a lot of ports. Um, I don't know if we can go in the red zone. And look at that, guys. We can make our way all the way down to one of these places. City States, Kingdom of Margarita, Margarita. Queendom of Bilabali. Interesting. Bretoni is over here. The Wasteland. Now it's a good question to see how we get over there. But we are going to start in this top spot. And maybe we can fill out the map over here a little bit. We will find out. So um, this is the Empire. And it looks like... Okay, I was mistaken. We have to sail in the lighter part, which makes more sense. So let's head to Erengrad and sell that food we caught. So bottom right you see we're in the green. And I think we can speed stuff up by pushing the plus and minus keys. So we are going to do that. Switch characters. Ooh, nice. Oh, hello. Did not look at that. A giant shark. A megalodon. Oh man, why? What is his malfunction? Oh boy, let's get moving. Let's get the hell out of here. 
We're by the wind, boys. Where the heck is he? You see him? See the megalodon? Anybody? Oh, there he is. Ah! Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I'm gonna stay here and blast him away because I do not want to screw with the sword. Because I have a feeling he will eat, eat us. Oh, look at that! He's just taking. Alright. I was trying to shoot him. Let's keep the wind in our sails and ports. I don't see him. Do you guys see him? Our center. Okay, there he is. Alright. Wait for it. Those teeth will compensate the damage. All right. I think that is loot that we're going to want. We took a quick hit there. We need to get to Erangard grad soon. Um. Faster, you see rat! Alright, so we're trying to pick up speed. And we want to get a uh, megalodon tooth. So we got one megalodon tooth out of all of that. And let's look at the map here. So the one on the left is the one that we want to go to. So we're going to speed up time. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Get to Erangrad Guard and see what happens. I think we're going to need to repair. So, here we can sell the food and see what else they've got. Let's head over there and find out. Let's see, we're going to sell. I don't remember the numbers, but I think Wood is cheaper. If we need to patch up the revenge, I reckon the ship raids down in the dockyard will do the job. It won't let us buy anything else, so we will indeed talk to the shipwright. Click repair ship, then purchase repairs. The more damage your vessel, the more costly the repairs will be. Repair ship. 626 gold. Purchase repair. Thank you, good sir. Now, what else is there to do? What shall we do now, Captain? We got. Well, we can get plenty of work in the ports. Side with the Empire, Bretonia, hunt down pirates, or trade goods for a profit. If we earn enough, we can retire, and I can buy that house on the hill in Norden. All right. So I think we are now on our own. Yes, warehouse. We don't have anything in the warehouse. Purchase ship. The wolf ship is the most powerful imperial ship on the line. Great ship developed in response to Petronian Gall Galleon. So these are super expensive. We have 1,000 or 1,500 gold. Refit ship. Oh, zero. Chain shot causes additional damage to sails, but is easier to dodge and has slightly shorter range. We have no money, so if Legend Griffin to act as ship mascot and improve the crew's morale, that is cool. All right, so we're going to sailmaker. Oh, we can change our symbol, which is nice. All right, so we've explored those things. Let's see what there is before we board and see if we can make some crowns, some golden crowns. What's over here? This looks to be clothes. Very nice. We can purchase clothes and outfits. 
We'll be doing that throughout the campaign. And weapons. Alright, so we have a few weapons here. Quantity owned, never quantity owned spear, two longbow. I dare say that we will need to purchase some of those, but right not not right now. Something wrong in Kislev. There's a lot of folk on the docks. As you approach the docks of Erengrad, you see their Erengrad. You can see through a haze of smoke and fog with throng of people gathered together on the docks. There's a flurry of activity with ships loading and unloading and people just on the verge of panic. Drawing closer, you begin to hear terrified people shout, save us, help us. Hmm, they're wa watching for something in the streets approaching the docks. They look panicked, but then there may be profit in panic. Your maid speared parts the yellow tooth groomed. A haggard man on the dock speaks on behalf of the others around him, shouting above the noises of the crowd. My lord, Aaron Guard is overrun by a plague. Ooh, I don't want to deal with that. Of flesh eating flesh eating corpses. Please take us away to Norden. We'll give you all we have. We put together our coin and have five hundred gold crowns between us. It's all yours if you help us leave this dreadful place. Um, we're a pirate, we're self-serving, and while we want money, we do not want to deal with the plague. That can end our campaign pretty early, I think, I dare say. Don't let a single one of them aboard. Ship escort. I'm worried for my vessel on the treacherous voyage to Maja Uvin. I find myself willing to pay you a small cut of my profits if you protect the vessel en route. We will accept that. Courier service. Captain Maja Uvin requires a... Administrations of a witch hunter. Rumor has it that a vile chaos cult is hiding somewhere in their coastlands. Ensure I arrive safely and I will compensate your expenses and your time. And Aaron Grad promises a rich bounty for Vena Fresnel. So Fresnel. Of the infamous ship Grim Continents. Dead or alive. The brutal pirate is unlikely to surrender peacefully. Keep plenty of shot and black powder to, on, to hand. You may well need it. Alright, so we just took on a few missions. And if I'm not mistaken... Uh, let's see. We're gonna get some provisions for our crew. 19 days. Let's see. I don't remember the exact numbers now. I think spices are the same. Maybe coal. You know what? Let's um we have a few missions. Let's make some let's make some money. I'm just kind of exploring what these things are. Wise woman's Kislevite collect bounty Imperial pendant. Oh, we can get bounties. Naval defense diplomatic missions. I think recruit crew will only work for those who have demonstrated more loyalty to Kislev. I don't need you then. Let's go here. This is the tavern. Relax in the tavern. Psst, hey, you want to buy this very valuable treasure map at a low, low price of 420 gold? All right. Oh. Today, a small group of orc ships spotted near the Bay of Arnau. Today, a small group of pirate ships in the pirate current. Magic has apparently had a surplus of food lately. Perhaps a savvy trader could take advantage of the high supply. So we're heading there, I believe, for two missions. And let's see. Snow touched, snow touched. Let's hire. We can have up to 15. They're all snow touch. We already have a sharpshooter on board. We can afford another one. Alright, so we are good with 14 because I don't want to click retire. I'm not sure what happens. We will explore that option later. I don't want to end this campaign just quite yet. We have only gotten started. So 
if we look at the map and our quests assassination tutorial depart all right so we can only have three on the selected just hit a waypoint ah Ship escort to Froskio to Maju Umemi. The, the what? Froskio. I don't know where the Froskio is. You know what? Let's board our ship and we will fix. Nothing ever comes free. If we're gonna make a name for ourselves, we need to pick up what work we can find in the port. Do us some trading and grab the big scores when we can. Alright, so we are sailing to the exclamation point and that other waypoint. Now we are trying to stay in the green there a little bit. Pick up speed. Where? All right, we're gonna speed up time. Damn wind. I think that's the ship we need to help. We're heading towards it. Captain Cold, orc raiders are heading for Erangard. The orcs must have known that the home fleet was forced north to face a large chaos invasion fleet. Please stop the raiders before they attack the city. Um, it's a quiet night. I don't like it. You're sailing into the wind, Captain. Okay. So, click the crew menu. I'm not sure what the crew menu is. What I do know is, I believe. There are some orcs about. Oops. We have the weather gauge, Captain. Be ashamed not to slaughter some green skins. Alright, so let's see. That was a total miss. Let me see if I can do better. Let us Let's fly. We are gonna try to stay in the green, keep our speed up, but we do wanna hit that green skin ship. So All right. Let's aim for their captain here. I do not think headshots have an impact. I think we just have to make sure we hit them, which we are doing continuously. All right, Captain down. Oop. We are slaughtering the green skins. Oop. R to switch. I'm glad we picked up a few extra crew members. We have to figure out how to how to pay the crew, which we will do in a little bit, but 
I think we need to make some money before we do. Alright, so transfer all. So we go oh wait. Revenge in command. And we are going to scuttle this. And we unlocked an achievement. I unfortunately cannot see what that achievement is right now. Now what we ideally want to do is take out these other two as quickly as possible as this guy comes in to... Oh boy. Oh. So we blew it up. Another achievement unlocked. Sink 10 orc vessels. Alright. That's nice. I think we missed that time. Yeah, the angling's a little weird. It could be a little more intuitive in how we fight, but it is what it is. Oh, and there's a uh, loot for us back there, so we will be sure to turn and get it. hit them a little bit. So we're going to turn. You see the little thing to the right? We're going to pick that up. But as we do it, oof, they just hit us. And we hurt their sail a little bit. You're in combat. Do we miss? I think we might have missed. Kind of sitting there. It's okay by us. That other one is getting closer though. Come on. Alright, let's go pick up this loot. Oh, snap. Yeah, it should be right in front of us. We will... put some hurt on the... Did we pick it up? No, we did not. We missed. Turned away from it. So let's... I'm sure it's nothing good, but we want every single thing we can get. So one silver. Alright, we'll take silver. Oh, pushing off. That was a horrible mistake. All right, we are going to head away from shore so we don't run aground again. That was embarrassing. Wasn't paying attention. And let's we're gonna try to sink that other ship and then we'll board this other one. dead. Plus one orc pendant. That's good. Where 
And I'm not sure if... We are done or not. I would like to put on some forward cannons. Be more like an attack. Vessel. Alright, so... A lot of it is red. I'm kind of curious if we can even anchor. Yeah. It would be nice to tell. Alright. Speak to Erangrad. So we're right here. We are going to head here, repair. <laughs> I'm not sure how we pay our crew. I saw something that said, Harbor Master, we saw your heroics, Captain, as a token of gratitude for sinking the Orc Raiders. I have instructed to give you 4,000 gold ducats for the treasury to repair your ship. Plus two favor with Kislev. Um... Thank you in the bottom left where ship is in need of repairs. Um, refit ship. Great ship damages crew but has very short range. Tony and ships pack their decks with regiments. Inferno shot. Reinforced bulkheads. These are all very expensive. But we are on our way to making some serious coin. Now one thing I wanted to do here is I don't know how to... I should wish to retire this one your adventure. Nope, we do not want to retire. Okay. Well, now we know what happens. We are going to head to that other place because I believe we have two missions over there and so that place is sailing to there and then sailing to there ah crew first into boarding bonus to damage um, level up pay pay level up Who is this guy? Oops, crew. That's cool. So we have a sharpshooter here. Um, marine. So let's do that if he's boarding. Pay. Level up. Ship maintenance. Uh, more effective one assigned to maintenance um, duelist pay pay ship maintenance more effective to maintenance pay level up maintenance pay can't level them up yet Pay level up. Tough will last longer in a fight. Pay level up. More effective when assigned to cannons. Rigging. Oh man, we have a lot of people that we are paying. Um, will last longer when assigned to rigging. They are in rigging. Um, level up. Skilled with. Yeah. Don't have a cook. Alright, normal crew rations 14 days. I think 
And again, I don't know how time works in this game, but my hope is we can get to where we need to go very quickly. And interestingly enough, I believe we missed something here. Alright, plus three food from the orcs. And... We have the weather gauge, Captain! Oh, jeez. Is that the... Okay, so that is... I think... The pirate that we want to... Destroy... And let's just take a look. Kill Grim Continents, that's the one. We found our mark, folks. He looks to be in a much bigger and better ship than ours. But maybe we are too quick for his weapons. That would be nice. We are hitting his sails consistently, so maybe we can just outpace him Alright Oh geez So we want to stay in his not side Come on Keep going, turn faster. Oh, we're in the red. Bottom right, we gotta kinda tactically understand that difference. If we can go fast or slow. Doesn't seem to be taking that much damage, even though these red. Ah, turn radius. Come on, come on. We can beat his turn radius. Then we will be in much better shape. Just blow his backside. Uh oh. Alright, this is very interesting. Uh oh, okay, so now we have the. Uh, come on, come on! There we go. I think we got him routed. Just um, four or five more shots. Alright, our fame. Sink a great ship. That's exactly what we did. And what we will do now is see what they were carrying. So that's exciting. We got our first. Oop. One jewelry. And then let's go over here and grab whatever that stuff is. Um, we are going to head to this place for our mission. And drop off our person sitting there. And then I don't know if how the escort component worked. Um... And after we hit that port, we'll probably call this an episode a little bit longer than I expected, but this game is actually fairly fun. We'll be playing this for a little bit. If you want to see more of it and you want to see kind of a full playthrough or later game stuff, uh, please, please let me know since I will uh, play more if you want me to. We are debating between a few games that we want to do full playthroughs of. We'll eventually get to all of them, it's just a matter of which ones come first. So let's get to port, wrap this up. We will call it an episode here shortly. This is Man o War Corsairs, you can buy it on GOG or Steam. 
I did not get this game for free. I did pay for it, but it looked interesting. I'm having a lot of fun so far. And please post comments. It's great to, to especially if you are an experienced Man of War player, I always appreciate constructive criticism and advice on how on how to improve and, and some of the you know the best the uh, best in class t tips and tricks and I'm happy to share those in subsequent videos as I learn. All right, so let's dock. Thank you for the protection, Captain. Here's your pay as agreed. Spend it wisely. 933 gold crowns, one favor with Kislev. Have your payment for my safe passage, and do not stray into wickedness, Captain, for we are always watching Witch Hunter 885, one favor with Kislev. And let us see, purchase weapons. We do have 6,000. Quantity available, quantity owned. Now one thing I'm not sure on Many Kislate wield axes in devotion to Tor, the northern god of warriors. I am going to buy... These ones are identical. I'm just going to buy an axe. So we have one to put on our crewmates. I do want to figure out... Kislevite bounties... Collect bounties. Um, so now we're up to 7,000. Uh, more loyalty. Ooh, these kids are expensive. But they must be... Um, they must be a lot more powerful. Now before we... Goods. Let me see. Buy... So we have 30. Average price paid 650. So we're going to sell that. Average price paid 800, so we'll sell that. 250, we'll sell that. 500, we will sell that. Jewelry. We will sell that. We will keep our Megalodon teeth. Seems to be a lot of Megalodons. Tavern. Wax in the tavern. Dorn has apparently had a surplus of timber lately. Perhaps a savvy trader. So Norden timber. If we can remember that, that would be great. Um... Man, happy when it snows. Bunch of people in the crew love the snow. We have weapons. Now, what we do want to do is... Shipwright. Yes. Warehouse. I don't even know how to store stuff. Ship. Alright. Refit ship. Let's go back a second. Repair. 115. And refit ship. I'm wondering if... Greatly increased cargo bay, but weakened ship structure. We do have 11,000. Um... Only available at a shipyard. Alright, so now the final piece, if we may, is the job board. Let's get on, take on some jobs. When I was young, passing through the ramshackle market strewn with shoddy stalls and busy people, the barely noticeable pleas of a beggar catch your ear. Turning, you find an old withered man pawing at the coat of a passerby, the disheveled mess seemingly begging for alcohol as evident by the glass bottle nearby, though the curious scars across his face catch more of your attention. Sir, just a few, and I'll tell you a tale you won't regret listening. Gah, unhand me, you fool. This is the nobleman. You're selling my clothes. I have no time or coin to waste with the likes of you. 
Knocked by the aggravated noble in his departure, the old man reaches for a nearby bottle, sipping the dregs of what remains. As his gaze raises up from the floor, his eyes latch onto you, sparking new life into him. Ah, oh, good sir, you have the look of a competent and sturdy captain. May I, may I, I interest you in a story of bloodshed and enchanted seal unlike any other. It would seem one as strong as you would benefit greatly from my words. All I ask is for a coin to quench this damnable thirst. All right, we'll give him five gold. Returning with a fresh bottle, the old man takes a large swig from the glass, giving a delighted gasp. By the gods, that'll put hair on your chest now. When I was young, me and the lads used to fish up... In the icy north, back then, we paid no mind to the threats of chaos. We only cared about the profit that could be had. One of my mates, Olaf, always carried around with him the blade of his, swore that it was given to him by the ice queen herself and that it was enchanted with the very essence of frost. Needless to say, we always saw him a bit of a fool. Unfortunately, one evening, while we were moored to an iceberg, a small war party of chaos fanatics crept up and attacked us. Some monstrous armored warrior tore through my friends, their screams, their screams. The old man, visibly shaken from recounting the story, takes another swig from the bottle in an attempt to drown his fears. At some point during the conflict, a part of the iceberg came crashing down upon us, scattering each one of us. I managed to claw myself free, however, the others weren't so lucky. Everyone was dead. Upon looking back, however, I saw it. Olaf's hand stuck up through the snow, still grasping that blade. It was almost calling to me, yet the fear that gripped my heart was so intense that I fled as fast as I could. To this day, I wish I had grabbed that blade, but alas, if I, a fear of chaos is not one easily settled. You strike me as a brave man. If you were to sail north, I'm sure you could find that iceberg and the sword with it. Still searching for a new owner. Interesting. Ship hunt. The trade wind in a cursed imperial war galley has a great bounty on its soul. Let's it let its deck wash with blood. Avenge those brave sailors of Maja Uva that have been butchered. All right, so we took on to. Let me see up north. And. We do not have we do not have all right oh they get more expensive when we level them up that is important to note so we want to make sure we Oh, is there like a pay all function? Yeah, down here. Pay all. Back. Didn't I just pay them? These scallywags. Now we do have an assassination mission on at Norden. And I believe. You know what? We're gonna. We're gonna. We will sail north and continue the campaign. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'm gonna save this. We'll delete that one. That was my test. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and catch us in the next episode. See you later.